Here in Fortescue Bay, an iconic location on the, the Tasman Peninsula, in recent decades sea urchins have been moving in, the long spine sea urchin, and behind me are a couple of boats harvesting those sea urchins. But it isn't a, a typical harvest, it's called a take-all harvest. And in a take-all harvest, the, the sea urchin divers remove the small sea urchins, the juvenile sea urchins, as well as the large sea urchins. And the objective of that is to rehabilitate the kelp rapidly and protect the piece of reef for an extended period of time. So when the sea urchins form in large numbers, when they become overabundant, uh, they cause what we, we know as urchin barrens. So they consume all that kelp, they graze the kelp, and it just leaves bare rock behind. And when you have the bare rock, you lose diversity, you lose productivity. We lose kelp, we lose abalone, the fish diversity decreases, uh, all the microinvertebrates go as, as well. So the bitter reef becomes a barren. It is bare and quite devoid of life when we compare that to a healthy kelp patch. These urchins will go back to the sea urchin processing factory where the larger sea urchins will be utilised, they will be processed for their row and get sold to markets domestically uh, and internationally. So we're looking at covering five kilometres of reef line. Uh, that goes from the Fortescue Bay boat ramp all the way out to, to Cape Hoy. So this project is really a nice collaborative project between science, industry and government. So we have IMAS, who I work for, uh, the Commer Tasmanian Commercial Dive Association uh, behind the actual removal of urchins and it's the Tasmanian government that's funding this project and this removal.